GPT-5 isn't just another upgrade. It's a direct challenge to everything we thought AI could do. With OpenAI's latest leak, we now know GPT-5 is real, it's coming soon, and it's set to revolutionize how we use technology. Smarter reasoning, longer memory, full multimodal capabilities, and real-world task execution? This model is being designed to think, act, and even learn like a human. And while Google scrambles to push Gemini 2.5 out the door, Sam Altman and his team at OpenAI are quietly building a unified system that could make Gemini look outdated on arrival. In this video, we're breaking down the latest leaks, what GPT-5 can actually do, and why it could be the model that leaves Google playing catch-up. GPT-5 is shaping up to be more than just the next model in OpenAI's lineup. It's a complete shift in AI architecture and capability. According to Sam Altman, GPT-5 won't simply be faster or bigger. It's being engineered to think more clearly, reason through complex problems, and adapt to each user with human-like memory and personalization. Where GPT-4 gave us quick, sometimes inconsistent answers, GPT-5 is expected to work through problems step by step, like a highly intelligent person thinking out loud. That means more reliable answers in fields like medicine, law, engineering, and science. Areas where Gemini currently struggles with consistency. But the real game changer? Memory. GPT-5 could process hours of conversation, keep track of your preferences, and reference past interactions. Imagine talking to an AI that actually remembers what you said in last week's meeting or what kind of jokes you like. This isn't just useful, it's personal. And it's what makes the system feel less like a tool and more like a partner. Then there's multimodality. GPT-5 won't just handle text. It's being trained to understand images, audio, and possibly even video. You could show it a photo, ask it to describe it, generate a new version, and even follow up with context, all in one conversation. Google's Gemini may support multiple inputs, but GPT-5 is aiming for a more seamless and deeply integrated experience. OpenA isn't trying to compete feature for feature. They're building a model that understands more, remembers more, and does more. And that's exactly why Gemini should be worried. One of the most groundbreaking shifts with GPT-5 is OpenAI's plan to move away from multiple fragmented models toward a unified AI system. Right now, users have to toggle between different GPT modes, Turbo, Legacy, Code, Image. But Sam Altman confirmed that GPT-5 is being built to combine all these tools into one seamless experience. Instead of selecting a model for each task, GPT-5 will intelligently decide what kind of reasoning, creativity, or multimodal input is needed in real time. Whether you're asking it to solve a coding problem, break down a legal contract, or generate an image based on voice instructions, GPT-5 will handle it all without switching modes. That alone is a massive usability advantage over Google Gemini, which still feels like a collection of features, not a single intelligent agent. And OpenAI's upcoming product, Operator, hints at where this is going. It's already capable of browsing the web like a human, filling out forms and handling repetitive digital tasks. GPT-5 will likely build on this, pushing us into the world of AI agents, systems that don't just respond, but actually do things for you. Google's Gemini 2.5 may score higher on certain academic benchmarks like coding or math, but it still functions more like a smart assistant. GPT-5 is evolving into a digital coworker capable of understanding, remembering, and executing real-world tasks. What's more, GPT-5 will scale across tiers. Free users will get base-level access, but premium subscribers will unlock more advanced reasoning capabilities and speed. This structured rollout could massively boost adoption, bringing GPT-5 into schools, offices, and creative industries before competitors can catch up. Simply put, GPT-5 isn't just about smarter AI. It's about frictionless, full-spectrum intelligence. And that's something Gemini isn't delivering yet. What makes GPT-5 truly dangerous for competitors like Google Gemini isn't just the features, it's the philosophy behind it. OpenAI isn't focused on one big breakthrough. Instead, they're stacking hundreds of small innovations, 
stitching them together into a model that feels surprisingly natural, shockingly capable, and impossible to ignore. This slow compounding progress creates something more powerful than flashy updates. It builds momentum, and that's what Gemini is struggling to match. Sam Altman confirmed that GPT-5 will integrate their top experimental systems, like the 03 reasoning model, directly into ChatGPT. That means no more choosing between models, no more toggling tools. You'll be using one all-in-one, deeply intelligent agent that knows exactly what to do. This unified approach creates a kind of invisible intelligence, one that works without friction and adapts automatically to what you're doing. But the real shift? GPT-5 moves AI from being a helpful assistant to being an active operator. Through tools like Operator, GPT-5 will browse websites, fill out forms, book appointments, maybe even make decisions for you. This is the beginning of the AI agent revolution. We're no longer just chatting with models, we're about to delegate real-world tasks to them. In contrast, Google Gemini 2.5, while impressive in benchmarks and multimodal input handling, still behaves like a tool. You give it commands and it responds. GPT-5, on the other hand, is being trained to understand intent, context, and preferences. It remembers who you are, how you think, and what matters to you. That's personalization on a completely new level, something even Gemini's best models haven't achieved yet. And with OpenAI planning to roll out GPT-5 access to both free and paid users, the adoption curve will be fast and wide. As more people experience an AI that can reason, remember, and act, expectations across the entire industry will shift. Gemini might win a few battles on paper, but GPT-5 is being built to own the user experience. If OpenAI delivers what Sam Altman has promised, smarter thinking, task automation, deep personalization, and multimodal mastery, then GPT-5 won't just outpace Google Gemini, it will set a new standard for what artificial intelligence should be. We're no longer talking about hypothetical futures. GPT-5 is real, it's coming soon, and it could be the most disruptive AI release of the decade. From unified intelligence to personalized memory, from reasoning that rivals humans to the ability to execute real-world tasks, GPT-5 isn't just a step forward. It's a leap into a future where AI works with you and for you. Open AI isn't chasing benchmarks, they're chasing impact. And based on everything Sam Altman and the Open AI team have revealed, they're about to change how we think about artificial intelligence entirely. GPT-5 won't just answer your questions, it will anticipate your needs, remember your context, understand your tone, and actually help you get things done. Meanwhile, Google is pushing hard with Gemini 2.5 Pro, an impressive update, no doubt. But while Gemini shines in controlled test environments, GPT-5 is being engineered for real-world dominance, handling your tasks, managing your tools, streamlining your work. That's the difference between a smart assistant and a true AI agent. So here's the bottom line. When GPT-5 lands, it won't just compete, it could reset the entire AI playing field. And if you're not ready for it, you're going to feel like you've been left behind overnight. If you're as excited and maybe a little nervous as we are about what's coming next, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We'll be breaking down every update, leak, and behind the scenes insight as we race toward GPT-5's official release. And tell us in the comments, is Google Gemini already too far behind? Or will this be the fight of the decade? Thanks for watching. The AI race isn't slowing down and neither are we.